open this up a bit. Okay, now move the up strength to the y-axis, both of them to the y-axis, side strength to the x-axis, and the scale we want to add a different user data and get rid of this i thing. And the scale, just leave it there for now. We need to add new user data. So select a character, go to user data, manage user data, add data, select the data, name it i scale and we want to make this interface to float, float slider and that's okay now we have that user data on so click on the red thing over here user data and you should have this i scale thing that we just named and we just drag that scale to that i scale and that's now we have whenever we click the character and go to user data we should have the scale here and the eye movement here. So I hope you got that. If you're having problems, please comment. And yeah, so uh, now let's get to the blinking. Uh, more simple, I guess. No, not really. But let's name this eye left. We want to be organized, so I right, and we want to attach it to the to the the, the, the body the rig so we select the head which is this this joint is the head we individually select and command bind so select the joint select this and command bind oh no not a line command bind okay so we have that now whenever we rotate or anything with that joint it should move with it yeah oh what is happening there Oh, well, yeah, if that skin goes along with that, you just go delete the skin and delete this from the head. So now we just join it again because we extruded it. And yeah, but I can't explain it. But now you click bind again. Then it should work. I hope it works. It should work. Well, yeah, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, that looks pretty cool. And now let's do the blinking so get a new cube let's get a texture um, because I never mind just make it green pink purple this will be the eyebrow I mean I um, wait, did I rotate it yeah uh, eyelid so where is the plane oh I didn't get a plane get a plane um, make it the same size as the eye, so 12.5 and 12.5 with segments to 1 and this to 2 and then we put 90 degrees on the p-axis depending where your thing is make it editable, click on that box move it up to the eye and just position it on the eye like so we have that and because we made the height segments to 2 there should be a line in the middle like that so let's move it onto the eye and let's move it a bit back so let's disable that move thing and position it there and now let's uh, what am I doing? let's name it eyebrow uh, and let's add the morph so go to character make sure it's editable or you can't do this add point morph and now let's put the texture on it just real fast <laughs> that looks weird uh, select the faces select this face and you want to disconnect it so right click on first select the face then disconnect right click and press disconnect and preserve groups yes um, now let's scale it so press the scale button this is some old math you have to do so the Z if you put it at zero it'll just completely be at zero the size of it so we don't want that for now we want to set this to 6.25 and then we want to put this at zero so now it's on the top of the eye because a half a pixel we wanted to move half a pixel so we need to put add half a pixel to the Z axis of the position can't really make it clear but just try and fiddle with that fiddle with it <laughs> and just do that oh I forgot to put the morph tags oh no I did it uh, so you just select the morph uh, and then you do the same you just select the morph 
and whatever I'm just gonna do it again so disconnect disconnect okay put this at 6.25 and put this at 0 do this one the same thing negative 6.25 and put this at 0 enter uh, if you don't press enter it doesn't work and let's name this uh, blink because that's the blink and so now make, make sure you had that selected when you did that and so whenever you do this it should blink uh, so now we want to put that 100% and press animate and now that animate thing is pretty important so let's copy and paste this eyebrow no no don't uh, click on your mouth tool press edit now you can copy and paste it uh, make sure every move enabled select that eyebrow oh sorry <laughs> put this at like zero now I should be able to copy paste get the object and move it into position okay so we have the eyebrows let's name this eyebrow left eyebrow right okay um, we have now we need to enable so animate click on animate on both of them uh, both of the morph tags and now we need to add the user data for, for it so click on your character user data manage user data add user data name this eyebrow uh, eyelid um, then you want to make it a slider float slider press ok we have that done now I'll go to Expresso, double click on it get it on the pink thing user data eyelid and bring that here bring both of them here just drag it in tag properties blink strength and tag properties blink strength on the other one and now we should just connect it like that um, it doesn't matter just connect it okay and now we have it connected to the character so when we click on our character and go to user data we should have him blinking yay so um, now let's do the mouth. Mouth adds another small thing. Uh, he moves the chin at the bottom. So let's also do that. Uh, so let's select. Let's just move this and bind it to the character now. It's real fast. Click each one individually. Come on, bind. Okay. Uh, so now let's get. Uh, let's get another play ah no we need to select the head face select select these two and this is you can do it differently the different size as me do the same thing extrude it back make sure you click on the faces when you're extruding and now press delete whoa oh, okay uh, then we want to get a face so get the plane select the plane so basically the same thing as the eye, but uh, but it's a mouth. So put the width to 12.5 and put this to 6.25. That's how tall it is, of course. Put this to 1 and put this to 2. And then rotate it 90 degrees on the p-axis, depending where your thing is. So now put it back. Oh, let's put enable move. Yeah, it's enabled. So move it into the position of the mouth. Oh no, okay, um, get it back, and put it down a bit, it's not right, get the coordinates of it right, um, uh, let's see, y axis, let's put it to 9 point, 9.3125. Okay, uh, yeah, I did a bit of math there, but don't worry about it. Just put it in position where you want it. Um, now, let's just put it in position. Click on the move tool, disable that, and move it about here. Okay, that's about right. Let's add another texture on it. Put it to brown. Uh, let's just get this color table. Let's get it orange actually. 
Okay, so now it looks like a duck. Perfect. Um, now I'll get it editable character, add a morph. Uh, now select that morph tag, name it uh, mouth, because that's the mouth. And make sure I have it selected. Get the face select. Select that. Uh, dislocated, disconnected. Uh, yes. Um, scale. Sorry, I don't know what to say now. Just scale it three. If you're doing it exactly like me, it should be three point one two five, and this at zero, and this to negative three point one two five, and this at zero. Okay, so we have that. Now get to your morph, and you should have that. Okay, perfect. Mm, yeah, animate. Okay. Now let's make the chin move down. So select your head and click on uh, character. Come on, uh, morph. Yeah, add another morph onto the head. And now we want to click this and make it chin something. Chin and select those two. Scale it down. Oh no, not scale. Move. Move it a bit down. And now we want to select the edges of it, so go to edge, edge select, hold shift, and move. then move it a bit up till, we are, till it's like that. And then we select that, and we should have it moving like this. Okay, good. Um, now click animate. And okay, we're done with that. Now we need to add the user data, so select character, uh, character, user data. Manage thingy, uh, data, mouth, of course, um, slider, float slider, okay. And now let's go to Expresso, double click on it, add the two morphs in, the head and the plane, and let's just move this a bit up, like, like that. And let's open, go to user data, get the mouth, and let's grab this here. Tag properties, chin strength enable, tag properties, mouth strength enable, and just drag them in here. And that's all you have to do for the mouth. And now we should have everything done. Okay, yeah, okay, he's moving the mouth plus the chin. And just just added another piece at the back over here, and it should like an orange color. I mean a maroon sort of color, and that'll look like the mouth when he's opening the mouth. And you can even add teeth if you want. It's just the same principle, the same sort of thing. Then you can add them. You probably can figure it out. So let's add the eyebrows. The last thing to do. Let's get a brown texture. Just before we do this. And okay, I'm horrible at texturing. <laughs> and let's get a cube this time, not a plane. Um, let's name this mouth and just bind it to the character first. Control mouth character command bind. Okay, so we got that. Now let's get a cube. Let's just scale it not manually or whatever. No, let's let's move it. What am I doing? Let's select the cube object uh, about twelve point five, twelve point five, twelve point five. Let's move it somewhere here. It's my move enabled. No, it's enable it and move it into position. Oh my God, that's wrong. Um. Let's go back to the cube. Uh, the y axis should be about one pixel. And it doesn't have to be exact, but the z axis should be half a pixel. Okay, that's about right. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can mess with that. Um, let's make the y a bit smaller, so about 10. No, not the y. Uh, uh, let's make it five. Okay, that's about good enough. Um, now, let's name it. No, let's just make it editable. 